There was a small door that led to attic space in my bedroom, and it became habit that I would shut the door. As I walked into my bedroom a couple times a week, I didn't think anything of it. Just assumed my mom didn't close it all the way when she left it. After a while, I made the mistake of joking with her when she made a comment about me not picking up after myself. I said something like, every night I have to close the attic door behind you. How about you shut it all the way when you're done? She then informed me that she hasn't been in the attic in months. Asked my brother, nope. Asked my father, nope. So then I started to pay really close attention to it making sure it was closed in the morning, checking it after school, checking plaster dinner, then head up to bed and open. After a couple months of wondering, studying, experimenting, I thought I'd see what happens if I just don't shut it. Opened the door before school and checked it after school. Still open. Checked it after dinner. Still open before bed, still open. Now, I'm lying in bed, mind going crazy with the open door across the room. Decide to check it out, so I roll over and focus on the black space into the attic to see a face staring back at me. Pull downstairs, wake parents, get ridiculated by a brother. Switch bedrooms with brother. Move into new house about six months later. New physics teacher and his wife bought our house. I could have forgotten all about that event and chalked it up to having an overactive mind. But then, my senior year, I discovered how awesome our physics teacher was. Became my favorite class and by far my favorite teacher. End of senior year, my friend and I took our VHS cam recorder around town, doing mostly silly things, but then took it to my old house to see what they've done with the place. We got a very fun tour. I got to tell stories about all the projects my dad did that were still part of the house. Then the wife leads us upstairs to show us the sewing room. I asked, jokingly, notice anything strange in this room? And her face goes black on camera. She asks what I mean, and I try to shrug it off, but end up saying something about the attic door. She confirmed that every time she comes up to sue, the attic door is open. She then tells us that the second day of being in the house, their dog, a German Shepherd, had gone into the room, but would not go back downstairs. He started barking and could not be consoled, and then jumped through the window, landing on the tin roof over the porch, and then running off. The dog did not come back until the next day, and has not stepped foot into the hallway that leads upstairs since. I had the initial thought, that I could show my parents and brother the story I had on film, but I decided to just let it be. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Horror Short Stories.